What is up, homies? Welcome. It is the beginning of a new week at our Santa Monica proper inspired flip. Put your head on my shoulder. Hold me in your arms, baby. It's Sunday. We shouldn't be here on a Sunday. But the reason we're here on a Sunday is because tomorrow we have a bunch of stuff being done and we need to be organized and I need to order some things. So here we are, welcome. Got the goods here. Dressed casually as I could be. But basically we need to confirm the door hardware. As long as I can get Boy Corp to fix this tree, which I don't know if you can tell from here, but it's legit touching our windows. And there is no way we are hauling an expensive window up here while this tree is like this needs to get sorted. So, what else is happening today? I'm going to Yamcha. Now, nah, it's um, it's gonna be great. So today I've got my notebook here, I have my phone. We're gonna go over a bunch of measurements and a bunch of counts and <clears throat> make sure we have everything we need electrical wise so that we can start changing that stuff out so the plaster can just plaster over everything. And yeah, this is gonna be a big week, guys, an exciting week. Some cool stuff's happening. The window's going in, so we're stoked about that. Christian's just checking on some trim for the floor just to make sure that it works up to the bathroom. So I'll show you that real quick. Hey, Chris. Yo. So how's this trim gonna go? So what we've had to do is we've cut the tiles here, cut them back, and the wood floor is gonna come up to here because we're not doing the bathroom at the moment. We're gonna throw this trim on the side here and then the flooring guy is going to floor right up to it. So we're either going to like that. Yeah. Because we're going to have a three mil underlay. We yeah. should bring this up a whisker. So, like that. And then this... It should butt up pretty good. I think we're going to do... Hang on, can I just see that? Oh, it has a curve. That's why I prefer this side. It has that on both sides. Does it? Yeah. Okay. It's just so it doesn't have a... It doesn't catch. Yeah. So... Hello. Hello. Or if you go like that. Oh, and our system came. So Christian's going to open that while we're here and just take a quick look at it. Because we need to figure out how tall this wall is going to be in the bathroom. Um, so, yeah, a little bit of planning to do today just so that we're ready for the week and we're organized. My mother-in-law is a legend and she's taking Frankie tomorrow. So we have the day to just get ourselves sorted for some stuff. And um, yeah, some cool stuff's going to be happening this week. Time lapse a bunch of it for you. Our plasterer Bart is hopefully starting tomorrow. He's a gun, so good. So I'm really looking forward to getting some plaster done because this will all be closed up. And um, budget's going to take a beating. So I think that we are going to do ACs in both the bedrooms and leave out here for now. The AC guy suggested something really cool though that we hadn't thought about. So when we do do AC, I think we're going to do this. So up here, our fridges will be, and the pantry, and the gap above it, you can get these ACs that kind of go like fill the space, and then you build them in with a bulkhead. And they look so legit. Like I feel like I need to find a photo and I'll try and insert one here so you guys know what I'm talking about. I don't think it's gonna be cheap. <laughs> so depending on how much it's gonna cost, maybe something we shuffle to the, we'll do it later stage but let's see um because you know we're kind of in the point where we're like oh is this worth it or do we just wait for a little bit because there are some things we want to do but just don't want to spend all your money at once necessarily and we're already spending enough i hope that you enjoy this week's update and please like subscribe give this video a thumbs up it really helps my channel and um if you're new here hi I'm Talia. I'm a designer, a DIYer, and a bit of vegan foodie. And we are smack bang in the middle of our renovation project. And it's a Santa Monica proper inspired renovation. So come along, watch the journey, subscribe to my channel. There's heaps of this stuff coming up. If this sounds like your kind of stuff, I'm your kind of girl. Hit subscribe. And also go check out my Instagram. I update that really often. So that's at homeofall underscore kin. I will put the link below and I'll put it up on the screen as well. And I will get into this video. I'm gonna stop talking. Bye guys.
morning, Home of All Fam. It is Wednesday, and Wednesday is an exciting day because this week's flat out, absolutely flat out, but so much is happening, and it's so exciting because I feel like every week in the Renault updates, it almost looks like everything's the same, but I promise you that it's not. It's just you have to trust the process. These things, unfortunately, even when you're moving through renovations quickly, take time. I'm mad at renovation TV shows for making people think that renovations take like a day, like watch my house get made over in a day. It doesn't happen that way at all. Like even if you wanted to renovate a house in three days, paint takes three days. Like it just is that long. So anyway, I digress. Things have been delivered this week, which means things are getting installed this week. And the most exciting install this week, and you guys are probably sick of hearing me talk about it, is our windows. Our windows are going in this week and today the frames for them have been delivered and in addition to that the window that's going into the kitchen has been delivered so I'll take you guys upstairs and show you that. Um, today the MBN is coming, the MBN technician is coming to connect all of that. I'm having a meeting with IKEA Kitchen Planning online so I'll record that. Let's see how that goes. Mm. We really need to eat. We haven't had breakfast. We woke up late. We're just so exhausted at the moment. Like, even the baby woke up late. My baby, I mean toddler, but she's my baby, you know. So we're all just pretty stuffed at the moment. But um, it's moments like these when you see the things that you planned so hard for and you made sure were perfect come out that way. Because the windows was honestly, apart from the kitchen, the biggest spend in this project. And it was really nerve-wracking to spend that amount of money on something. We've never done that Um never done windows like that before so it's a huge amount of money and um, we wanted them to be perfect and honestly they are and Angus our window guy is a GD legend like he is amazing he's totally coming over for dinner with his family after this because he's just the man and he's so pedantic and so particular and just so the person for this job and I'm so glad that we found him oh oh today I'm going to pick up my toilet which I know I shouldn't sound that excited about, but the flush plate's gonna be there, which is the finish of my tap in the kitchen. Let's see how that looks. I also like to do unboxings of our products over on Instagram. So if you guys wanna follow me, it's at homeavore underscore kin. Yeah, let's get into this week. Let's get into today. Let's do this. Let's do this thing today. Bye. There we go. Christian stopped standing so I could quickly film this. Our window has come. This is the one for here. So this guy's coming out and this gorgeous creature is going in. So I don't know if you guys can see properly, but it's one huge panel and it has a winder so it's going to pop out slightly. So it's going to tilt out, but not so much that someone can fall, just enough that it'll give us some air through the kitchen, which is so exciting. And it's just like, you can see the colour of that glass, I hope it's showing right, but oh, it's just so nice. And then that other huge panel I just showed you guys in the garage, that's going in here. We've set up the doors so we can start sanding them today. Uh, gorgeous fan that we ripped out. We've lined up all our electrical for our lights in here. What else, what else? Christian's made a hole. Um, I'll unwrap the cistern today so we can try and figure out what the frame needs to be for it. I've got to chase up the chippy about this rotted section of jam. Oh, sorry, it's this rotted section of jam, my bad. Um, and then, yeah, smokies are in. Christian sanding. Fixing the wood. Always sanding. Um, 
these are all, we've popped all these in now. So when I light these, we'll be ready to go when they come. Oh, oh, yeah, can you guys see the cornices down? So this is all going to be square set, and square set means that we're not going to have a cornice. It's actually just going to be that the ceiling and the wall will join up really nicely just with plaster. And I know that you can't really tell from here, but like in person, it just makes the ceilings feel so high, which is really cool. So yeah, that's all been taken down everywhere. And our plaster, I left a plaster poop here. Plaster poop. That's what I call it, because every time I finish plastering, there's like a plaster poop. Pavlova, a plaster lover. Um, and then the other thing is the gardener came, but he didn't trim the tree, because apparently he was just sent to quote it. But I was told he was sent to trim it, so cool. Um, <laughs> our window guy said he's going to hang out the window with succotors tomorrow and just cut whatever he can. So that's that. I've got to go pick up a toilet. I need to go get us breakfast. Um, that's it. Currently waiting for IKEA to call me from the kitchen planning department because they won't let me order the kitchen without going through it with a kitchen kitchen planning specialist. Sorry, I'm a bit tired. Let me show you guys what I've got so far. So those are all the cabinets along that new wall. Here's the sink cab, and these are blank cabinets. Like there's nothing, there's gonna be nothing in them and no access to them. Um, and then there's the dishwasher and the drawer panels. Just so you guys know, the reason there's a gap here and a gap here is because these cabinets are kind of gonna be allowed to shuffle in and out depending the gaps we need here. So we're actually gonna use the doors that are on them as edge panels, like joiners. makes sense so here's the kitchen there so basically these are our refrigerators here's our pantry that one's our oven um, if we swing this way just some slim drawers either side of the cooktop uh, that is just going to be a fixed drawer above the bottom drawer under the sink just because the sink's going to take up most of that drawer so you can get a shallow drawer in there but it's really kind of useless so I've just axed it completely I think it looks better fixed so this is the dishwasher here and then we've got another bank of drawers here so these cabinets here I need to take the hinges and the shelves out of because obviously we're going to have no access to them so I do not need them yeah and let's tip this guy up so you can see yeah so this top drawer is going to go that bottom drawer will stay and then these guys are losing their hinges and their shelves because we don't need them. But anyway, the kitchen planning department's supposed to call me at one. I'm hoping I can get through it quite quickly because I've done this a thousand times so I know what I do and don't need. I just need them to adjust it slightly for me, the things that the planner won't let me remove. So I'll keep you posted. Bye. I'm not feeling like I'm part of the IKEA family, I'm not gonna lie.